Well, you can there you go. The hey, yo. There you go. <laughs> How's it going everybody? Today was a random turn of events. Was not expecting to bring this home, but here we have it. It is a full ATX Antec tower and it's got some goodies inside. And so yeah, my thrift store mysteries are picking back up again for 2024, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and check this thing out and see what it's got. So this machine as well as a random DDR2 kit of RAM, which is sitting over there on the chair for those wondering, cost me 10 bucks today out of the blue, just randomly finding this. And I'm like, there's no way that I'm leaving without this thing. And so, yeah, go figure. So yeah, pretty good price, I'd say, even if it was just for the case, like I will absolutely take it for 10 bucks. Like even if it wasn't the RAM that I got alongside it that I magically found out of the blue as well and some stuff, I would have totally taken this thing home for 10 bucks. That's a pretty good deal in my, in my book. And it's definitely got whatever power supply it came with originally as it's got the Antec logo on the fan there. And of course, um, we'll see more Antec fans here as we get into this because I'm sure they all came with the case. The motherboard is definitely early 2000s as it's got era appropriate ports on it. And we have an AGP video card and some other things in the expansion slots. And this thing is definitely dirty, but I'm going to refrain from cleaning it at least as much as I can until I see if this thing actually works. So why don't we go ahead and pop off the side panel and take a closer look inside. All right, so this thing is not too difficult to get into. And fortunately, this key lock on the exterior panel, as well as the front panel, is uh, unlocked. So we don't necessarily have to worry about that. Uh, I figure before we crack open to this, because I know we're building suspense here and whatnot. So yeah, the front panel latch surprisingly still works. So it's a bit of a miracle in and of itself. I hope this is in frame. It should be. So we have a couple of beige optical drives. One on the top here is actually a DVD-R slash RW. And we have a CD-ROM drive as well as a floppy drive. And a surprise guest. Can you believe it? We have a spider. How you doing there, bud? He's just chilling. He's just chilling. So yeah, obviously this machine we're going to have to do a little bit of improvication to uh, cleaning it and that's going to include obviously getting the spider so three two one ha got him we're redneck out here obviously okay enough of that let's go ahead and pop this open here so you just push this latch which undoes it and this will slide out and pull away from the case uh, obviously gently and before we go to hog wild we have the uh, intake fan on the side panel, and that's just Molex, so um, yeah, we have Molex hell going on in this case, as you are soon going to see. It also doesn't exactly smell very pretty. I will tell you it smells like hints of cigarettes and basically must. It's not pleasant at all. So here's the inside of the build. Now, I apologize for all of the audio being screwy because I've been walking around the camera here, so you'll have to bear with me on this. But we, this thing is loaded, as you can see. There's a lot going on inside of this case, more than I was expecting to see. And this is definitely somebody's pride and joy from 20 years ago, and there's no shame in denying it. Like, this thing is awesome. Even if it's not the best hardware in here, like, you gotta love the respect that was given to three IDE hard drives, even though you can't realistically hook that up without an external controller, which clearly they're not all hooked up. But still, you got to give some credit to whoever was rocking that kind of a setup. Like, that's awesome. Like, <laughs> I will take the extra IDE hard drives any day of the week, especially these days. Uh, but you can see the floppy drive is kind of camping out in there. And then up here are the two IDE optical drives. And our Antec power supply is a 430 watt unit, which is uh, from back in the day, that was actually quite a big size. Uh, most PCs, like at about that time period, about a couple hundred watts or so. Let me see if I can get in here without ruining the shot too terribly much. So actually, let me do this real quick. Let me just set focus right over here. So that way, when my big head gets in the way, uh, won't cause the camera to go out of focus. So what we have is a full ATX, socket a motherboard as i found out 
For those wondering, it is a Gigabyte 7VT600-RZ. And yep, it clearly says socket A on the motherboard. So I have no idea what to expect for the, um, for the CPU. It's definitely gonna be something Athlon XP. So, I mean, that's kind of an obvious. Uh, let's see. We have a Gigabyte video card of some kind. I haven't seen what kind yet. It's got a passive cooler on the top, or on the uh, thing, rather. Um, is there any indication as to what it is? That I can see no. I don't really see any kind of indicators as to what it could possibly be. It's a red PCB, so I'm willing to bet it's something uh, ATI, Radeon, of some kind, would be my understanding. Probably like a uh, 9200 or... Maybe it's a little bit worse than that. I have no idea what to expect out of that. It only has one VGA port on the output, if you saw earlier. Uh, see, below that, we have some kind of a Netgear PCI Ethernet card. Probably something fast Ethernet from the era. You know, nothing particularly fancy. It doesn't even have the socket for the uh, option ROM on this little PCB. We have a run-of-the-mill PCI modem. And it looks like down here, one of the... Uh, slots down here is just occupying some USB ports. So this motherboard probably has a, a lot of onboard USB headers, and I can actually see some of them down here on the bottom right of the board. This does have a VIA chipset, and it looks to be... Which one is this? I can't see amongst the spider webs here. It looks like the VIA VT62... No, is that an 8235 or is that a 6235? I can't read it from way back here, so apologize. That is an 8235. Gotcha. Okay. So, I don't know how good this would be for Linux. My bet is probably not very. All right, we're going to go handheld here for a little bit. One thing that's unusual, at least to me, from what I'm used to seeing, um, on the motherboard, there's only three DDR RAM slots. Normally, I only see a configuration like that if it's like PC-133, because I was expecting there to be four DDR RAM slots. Typically, that's what you see, or like two. But never three, or at least not in a long time have I ever seen a spec like that. Um, so yeah, you can see kind of the rest of what we're gonna be up against here. This thing is definitely gross on the inside. As far as these hard drives go, I can tell this top one has a manufacture date, uh, 3rd of August, 2004. So gives you any indication this thing's basically a 20 year old project build. Um, that looks like a Mac store drive on the top there. Probably another Mac store drive in the middle. And it's definitely going to be a rubber-coated Seagate right there. So I'm not sure what the capacities are. Does this... No, it doesn't say on the top. Okay. Well, that's going to be a complete mystery to see if any of those hard drives actually work. I mean, it's always a mystery if any of these old computers actually do anything. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one doesn't actually catch fire because it... <laughs> yeah, this one's proper 20 years old. And not only that, but... I don't know if I mentioned this. I don't think I did. There is a lovely bulging capacitor right there by the LAN and USB ports. Actually, there's another one right above the AGP slot right there, come to think of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, this is a cat plague sucker right here. It's, yeah, it's got some nasty ones. So, yeah, here's hoping that it posts. Although, I guess if it doesn't, <laughs> um, this could probably be a perfect candidate for being recapped. It looks like it's all there. And it actually looks like it's in otherwise pretty nice shape. So I guess we'll see what happens when we give it power and we try to turn it on. I am not expecting much. I mean, given all the caps I've seen, I mean, at least at least three that are, you know, below on their tops. So your guess is going to be as good as mine as if this thing's actually going to do anything. And hopefully the power supply doesn't act up too, because that could also have some bulging caps in it. You know, early 2000s deliciousness. And to build some more suspense, because I know everybody's been waiting, I am actually going to do at least one thing to clean this, and that is cosmetically. If nothing else inside this machine actually works, I want the case. So I'm going to just exterior-wise give it a run with the spray and wipe, because I just want to make sure that um, you know, there's nothing terribly wrong with it. I mean, in all honesty, despite the smell, which would go away after taking all this crap out of it, it's in pretty much... I'm not gonna say flawless condition, but it's in like excellent shape. And so for something else, if it were to get rebuilt into this case, it's absolutely worth it. Like, like I said, like I would have totally, even if the parts weren't inside of this chassis anyway, 
I still would have bought it simply because this case is freaking awesome. I mean, granted, I don't have the, the key locks. Not that it's really a priority for something of this vintage anymore. I think it's be a, the fun novelty and that's about it really. Um, but yeah, so let's see if I can get this thing closed for one thing because freaking Rolex, there we go. There we go, we got it. Let's give this thing a good run with the spraying wipe. I got some paper towel, so let's have at it. If that's any indication of how gross this thing is, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Probably not going to worry about cleaning the back off, but yeah, I just wanted to give it just a quick wipe on the surface, you know, just something to which would make this thing a little less gross to touch because I don't know where this thing was sitting, how long it's been sitting, and you know, it's not perfect as far as the cleaning job. That wasn't the point. Oops, I just run my hand along it. Um, it was mostly just so that way I could not feel completely gross from trying to pick this thing up. <laughs> so I'll do a more thorough job cleaning this later if it turns out to actually work or if it doesn't work, we'll just go from there. Anyways, enough suspense. Let's get this thing hooked up and see if it turns on. We are joined by some special people here. So say hello if you'd like. Hello. Hello, Jordan's chat. Nice to see you all again. Exactly. All right, we're about to embark on what we haven't done in a long time on this channel. I have the mains power back here, so let's just have fun for a moment. Smoke death! Oh, wait, that was already off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little rusty at it, okay? Okay, now that we've got that dumb segment out of the way, let's actually see if this thing powers on. It didn't obviously blow up yet, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, I have the yeah. I have the monitor over there set to VGA, so let's see what happens if I click the power button. Oh, well, we got one bad fan. I can hear the bearings. Oh, I can hear that. Holy crap, it actually posts. Oh, oh, my God. Whatever that's fan that's so in there just sounds like absolute trash. Do you guys hear that? Yeah. I hear I oh, God, it's booting into Windows XP. Oh, God, it sounds so bad. What fan even is that? Oh god, I hope that's not the CPU fan. That's been annoying. Just take all the little Everything will Oh yeah, that's true, actually. Oh yeah, I wish I had some Noctuas, but that's just wishful thinking. Yeah, no, it's wishful thinking. I didn't think you had actual Noctuas, because I know you're running out of money. Neither do I. This has a bunch of Antec fans because of the Antec case. Alright, let me point the camera away because I don't know what's going to come up on the screen. So voice chat, be prepared. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. There's not going to be an anomaly with Adobe, I can tell you that. Okay. Um, so we're good. We're good. Man, this fan is just being melodic over here. It's just, brrr, it's just changing pitches because it just can't oh, I can speak. Hear it. I, can, I can hear it when you talk. I can hear it in the background. That is a sad fan. That is very like sad. <laughs> I wonder if it gives the RPM of the BIOS. Oh, actually, I should check that. Well, I don't have a keyboard, so I can't shut this down because Windows XP. Oh, it just went to a lower pitch. Do you hear that? It's way uh, lower. I, can't hear, I can't hear it now. Okay, you're, you're probably going to pick it up in the video, but let me... Uh... Yeah, mm, good. I don't know what hard drive this booted up from, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, anyway, uh, let me see if these drives actually open here. There's a CDRW drive, and that's doing a... Oh, yeah, it's got power. It's just stuck because old optical drives. Hey, look, the DVD drive opens. Doesn't exactly sound the best, but it opens. Unlike the CDRW drive, well, I have to figure that out. Our good pal, the hard drive light, is on full time solid. Holy moly. Mm. Okay, let's see which user account will actually log in. Are you the special one, Lacey? 
Well, considering it didn't give me a meaty password prompt, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, let me let me come back when this thing actually logs in. I have no idea how long it's going to take. Okay, I don't want to know who that possibly is. I swear that's like some kind of pop actor or musician or someone. I was like, say, I think that's an actor. I'm kind of yeah. like, you know, like, I can reverse image search it. Oh, God. Like <laughs> yeah, no, you know no kidding. I don't care. I'm going to do it. Support for this operating system has ended and Microsoft Security Essentials is no longer protecting your PC. Well, isn't that just a darn shame? That, 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 that gives me the feeling that they probably used this past 2014 and that scares me. <laughs> I like how the see. end of support guidance for operating systems thing goes off the screen. Yeah, just just the one operating system. <laughs> the system. That is that is Alan Rickman. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Wouldn't have you ever guessed that. Also, we have Skype on the desktop and Internet Explorer. Great quick combination. Time, yeah, QuickTime. Uh, we have an open office installer of some kind. Whatever the heck this Active Desktop is thing is. Is that Alan Rickman? That doesn't look like I don't know what they were doing with Active Desktop enabled, but okay. Um, we have Acrobat Reader 5. Also, automatic updates is turned off. That's that's great. <laughs> it's not particularly fast. I didn't catch how much RAM this had. I think it said 512 meg. So I guess we'll find out. There are unused icons on your desktop. Well, gee. So I'm obviously going to censor the name here. We have Windows XP Service Pack 2 with a... Athlon XP 2400 plus and 512 megs of RAM, which probably explains why it's not very fast, but whatever. Also, apparently, Open Office uh, document recovery decided to pop open. That's useful. I hope that this isn't legal documents because um, I don't know who Tina is, not that it matters to me. That defense thing, uh, mm, mm, yeah, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Also, there's like power of attorney instance, whatever that's supposed to mean. Sample resume. This is legal stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna show that on video, but also, why is real player the notepad icon? Answer me that. Wait, give that shortcuts to Jordan. I should see what that shortcuts do. Oh, it literally just—it's a log file. Why did they? Why did they link? me right now um unused desktop shortcuts what's in here we have paypal my why is that used the internet explorer 6 icon excuse me it has a newer i've only never got past internet explorer 6 no it's literally got the ie 7 or 8 icon there on the desktop i don't know what that's about it's really weird also norton antivirus mcafee security scan plus google earth cnet secure delivery which is by the way running in the system tray um, oh, that's great. I wonder if, I wonder if Google... Why is there Earthlink in the toolbar? Yeah, why is there Earthlink in the toolbar? Earthlink, oh my god. Wait, what, when's this from? 2004. Oh my gosh, that's, that, that's great. Hang on, let me... Um, I see something called the Palace 32. Oh, it's actually, it's, it's got more crap in it. Okay, hang on a second. Pop-up blocker, a scam blocker, and it's got a search... Wait, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice all the other toolbars. Hang on a second. We have the eBay toolbar. Oh, no. This reeks of everything. Oh, no. All right, all right, we're doing it. We're opening We're opening, We're opening. opening Internet Explorer. Oh, no. Go to the homepage, I don't care. How many toolbars are enabled in Internet Explorer? I think there's at least two, maybe three. I think there's maybe two or three. Oh, my gosh, you freaking... would you not loading, so... Let's take it. The, oh, no! Oh, my God, there's no, three. Maybe four. Stay offline, okay. There's three toolbars. I love the navigation to the web page was canceled is in Times New Roman. <laughs> That's yes, not supposed to be. It's not supposed to be like that. Oh, it's even better. We have Bear Share up here at the top. We have Windows Live toolbar. We have the eBay toolbar, which has a bunch of junk in it, including ask.com. And the normal toolbar. What other toolbars are there? We, ha we have to... We have to actually, no, sorry. That was the from doc to PDF. We have the Yahoo toolbar. <laughs> All right, let's go. We got to relive the meme. Google toolbar. Google toolbar. That's more toolbar than it is actual web page. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it was the 2000s. You know, nobody had a sense of understanding of our computer. 
All right, what do we got for software? Um, oh no, Maxter Max Blast Three. What does that mean? That sounds like a virus. That sounds like something. Oh, that's what this is. This is like a hard drive cloning program from the back in the day. Installation program. What is what is a hard drive? Is this just virtually install a new hard drive in your computer? Apparently, whatever whatever that's supposed to mean. Uh, it's sure, probably for it's probably for like drive cloning and such. Uh huh. Oh, that's what that shortcut's for. Sprint Fast Connect Virtual Assistant. What? What? Click it. Sprint DSL. <laughs> Oh, no. oh my gosh, it actually has a locally stored web page. What the heck is this? <laughs> it is the old Sprint logo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> For example, assistance with getting connected or with receiving. Holy shit, that's old. That's like. Okay, here's another thing that I just noticed. Okay, right in here where it says change my settings. That's an old, like, Performa or Power Mac 6200. And there's an old Epson printer right beside it. You want to talk about, like, old? <laughs> Is that a picture in there? That's an old, old boy. Yeah, no kidding. We have Microsoft Silverlight, not a surprise. Windows Live of 2010s on here. Free opener. Useful. Is it open cans? Water scan. We're open scams. Ah! Okay, I'll shut up now. It's probably what oh, it does. Good... Ah, Jordan, that was such a good joke. I'm gonna just cry myself to sleep tonight. So... <laughs> what is free opener? It looks like a PDF viewer. Not even gonna lie. Oh, it does yeah, all kinds of different viewer. documents. Okay. Uh, like... Yeah, it's a document viewer. Okay. okay. It, well. It looks like some type of adware, though. Oh. It kind of does. It's like those things you see on, like, the sides of websites, that, like... Thing. Yeah, kind of something like that. That's what it looks I like. That would be for it. Maybe. Um, we also have tablet. we yeah. have Firefox. <laughs> Ooh, what version is that? Oh, I saw malware bites. I also saw malware bites as well, which is so fitting. It was never used. <laughs> it was recently updated. <laughs> don't import from Internet Explorer, please. For the love of God, don't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We don't need 20 toolbars. We don't need 20 toolbars. We don't need, we don't need more toolbars. Oh, my God. This fan, th this fan, whatever it is, is driving me absolutely insane right now. <laughs> this poor thing is just struggling. Oh, it's 3.6. It's 3.6. I have not seen this interface in a while. 3.6? Holy crap. 3.6.27. And this is literally the first run of it. Oh my god. It is the first run, actually. It's in the URL. <laughs> yeah, the URL. Look at that. No, look at, that look at that Google icon. I know, the old Google icon. That really... Oh my gosh. Yeah, that... that we have the old Yahoo, Amazon. Hasn't really changed. Answers.com, Creative Commons eBay and Wikipedia in English. I think I think it's safe to say this piece is probably last year's around 2009 2010. Which oh, is boy, strange boy. because Microsoft Security Essentials has the thing saying that this computer is out of support, so it had to have been used into 2014. At least once. At least. At least security at least once. SM pilots? Yeah, <laughs> Trend Fire Security S in Tiley's. Gosh dang it, I remember that. <laughs> a few moments later. Why do they need, why do they literally need five different toolbars for search? <laughs> like, they're making sure they have every search engine at their fingertips. You currently have six current toolbars. There's more than eight search bars on your screen right now. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Why would you ever want that? Don't ask it's me. the two thousands, yeah, guys. It's <laughs> We're about to see what malware bites anti malware is. Oh no! Oh no! That icon. That that's like one point five or earlier. That's probably like twenty ten, circa. Yes, probably. The latest version of Malwarebytes Anti-Malware has been downloaded. Malwarebytes Anti-Malware will now close and install the latest version. The latest, quote unquote. The latest. Yeah, I, the latest version. I don't have it connected to if the internet for obvious reasons, version, but... 
if it is the quote unquote latest version, it will not. <laughs> Let's go check out what the other accounts are, if they even work, or if they have passwords on them. I guess we'll find out and see. I haven't seen anything yet that suggests that this is like a um, a standard user account or anything like that. Apparently, apparently Malwarebytes 1.6 is on oldversion.com, and the reported size is 10.3 gigabytes. <laughs> oh no, man, that that's... <laughs> 10 galaxabytes. Oh no, there's no password there's on this no account. On this one oh no, we lost the mouse cursor shadow. Oh, this has its own delightful of things, including iPod guts in the bottom left. iPod guts, I need to see that. <laughs> what the hell is... <laughs> Shut up, security essentials, nobody cares. <laughs> Why is there eBay in the in the system tray? <laughs> 2013, wait, that, thing, that thing's got deep stuff from 2014. They're, yes, because they were using this in 2014, I'm pretty sure. So, oh my god, they used as recently as 2014. Jordan, Jordan has Google Chrome on it too. Wait, where? Oh, it does! Oh no, I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe they used Skype on that thing. There's a lot of things on this that I question why they were using them on an Apple XP. It's really great, they have toolbar set up right on there. Right. <laughs> And it's not Bro, a I need that icon from the desktop. Why won't this get out? Can you, can you get out of the way, security I think essentials? It, I think it stopped responding. I think it did stop responding because, oh, like, the, the freaking the, close the button won't get out of the way. On the desktop, no, the no, the they set it to left hand mouse usage. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, it's the, the, oh. oh that's great. Why snap it? Going to. I had to figure out that it was set to left hand mouse usage. Double right click. Oh, it literally is. Like, it's like a dump. Oh, it's literally, that's literally, it's literally, that's literally an iPhone literally my, That's literally what's in my iPod. My goodness. That's what's in everyone's iPod. Also, what is this, like, this is, like, PDF icon. I wonder what application tied into that. Or is it, like, that document opener oh, we found? I think it was that document viewer. Washington Mineral Database. Look, we'll just open up the most boring document. <laughs> a nuanced PDF reader. In 2010. Oh, it's version 7. Oh. Okay. Nice. Well, hopefully there isn't anything special in this because I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Two hours later. So besides looking at W twos, because we're not gonna do that on camera. Um, let's go check device manager because I totally got sidetracked. On camera. <laughs> okay, we have Glass Seekers as the computer name for whatever reason. Let's see. That's right. um, it sounds like they're looking for weed bongs or whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah ATI Reach like 128 Pro. Pro. Oh. Oh, Pro Ultra. Sorry, this is an iPhone. Um, Pro Ultra. Pro Ultra. Uh, yes. Don't worry, it's the Microsoft driver. Via Rhine 2 Fast Ethernet Adapter. Oh, that's actually a gigabit PCI card. Oh, that's pretty nice. I bet that's not any better than the sound card? See, the sound card is just whatever the... Avance AC97 for Via. <laughs> that's a sound chip. Um, yeah, go figure this has a Via chipset. It, it, it does VT, whatever the flip, uh, oh, it doesn't say in the system devices, but yeah, it's a VIA chipset. Doesn't surprise me. Um, we have two Maxter hard drives. There's a third one in the case, by the way, it's not hooked up, but there are three hard drives. Um, let's see, how big are they? Actually, never even checked. All right, one's an 80 gig. The other one's 40. Wait, let me go check. Let me ch hang on, let me go check disk management. Oh yeah, they're using the whole disk. So yeah, there's an 80 gig and a 40 gig. 80 and 40, yeah. Oh yeah, you should check. Put Chris's info on that. We'll do that later. Um, check the hard drive. Because I'll check the hard drive. Oh, they have the classic start menu. Greeting card creator 32. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh. Someone couldn't escape the night. You at least have Service Pack 2, so you can do Crystal Biscuit Kobe. Okay, I gotta, I gotta check. What version of Chrome is this? I'm gonna guess it's probably... I'm gonna guess Chrome 76. I'm that's... Gonna, no. Get, that's 76. This computer will soon stop receiving Google Chrome 49. updates because its hardware is no longer supported. It can't be 749, I think. 34. 34. Oh, Copyright 2024 Google. Yeah, no, that's not true at all. I was gonna say 49. This computer cannot run. It cannot 49. run 49. No, because, because it doesn't have a. It's, 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 the highest I think it goes is 39. 39. Oh, no. You know the irony? April 8th, 2014 is when Chrome 34 released. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh. Chrome got 
business card maker 32. We have to open it. Yeah. <laughs> New from template. All right, we have beer. Yeah. <laughs> But I love that there are elements of the car that go off the actual car. Copyright 2001. Oh yeah, no wonder this looks like it's straight out of the 90s. It's from 2001. It's pretty close to the 90s. Yep. Wow, that yeah. is a uh, that is a trip. All right, Sh should we explore the last we account? More, we have one more user. We have one more user. Jordan, you said that five I'm not doing fast user switching on 512 megs of RAM. <laughs> We're on to the final user. Who... What you, your account what? has been disabled. You, no. <laughs> I swear if that did that, that'd be funny. You need to activate Windows. Before you need to activate you. Windows, yeah. <laughs> okay, in the last account... What the f*** was that? It was me. This is probably the cleanest of the three desktops. This is definitely the cleanest of the three desktops, yeah. Let's see, is it set to left-hand mouse? Okay, no, thank goodness. Wait, what the heck is that one next to the security notification on the tray? On the system tray? Uh... Right, Screensaver right. control? Wait, what? what? Screensavers? Excuse me. This isn't like After Dark or anything, but I got... There is one in here. What? Signature what's the... What's the... What, what oh, hang on, sorry. Oh, God. It looks like soy <laughs> It literally is. Yeah. Well, what's the point of this? Unless this is just like... I like, I like the flashing logo in the corner telling you what it is. Yeah, that that's... <laughs> It's very fitting. Can you can you edit the screensaver? Online. Let's see. Can I edit it? System. Oh, I can. <laughs> oh my god! No way. Make it say "Okay, Mr. Nerd" or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works. I'm gonna hit "Okay" preview. <laughs> it does work. Okay, you guys need to see this. I'm turning the not? camera back on. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Can you change what the top corner says? No, I right. couldn't change can that. Change the, can you make this speed faster? Oh, actually, can you change the speed? I never, I never did check you that actually. Really zippy. Wait, can you change the speed? No, you cannot change the speed. No. Darn, that's unfortunate. Go, what's the signature? So the signature yeah, it does. What is that? What is that? Oh, you can just write something in there. No. Oh, I wonder if this needed like a signature. Oh, if it needs one. Wait, it did. Oh, it oh, did. Oh, it, did. It, did. It, did. it just, doesn't, it just doesn't tell you. Okay, I, I think what this is supposed to be for is like a signature pad. You have to be cringe. You have to make it an uwu. Well, you can there you go. The program for yourself. Hey, um, there you go. <laughs> uh, so I, I wonder, well, yes, I know me the same thing. Got it. My guess is, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, unless, unless it's hey, unless it could be looking for a signature and you're getting Apple it. software update. Wait a second. I looked that was it on the up other and I found, Oh, well, I frick. It up and I, found that <laughs> I forgot it wasn't connected to the internet. <laughs> the good that that program's gonna do it is not connected to the internet. Page. I looked it up and I found that, that string saver program. You can actually download it. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's from 2009. Oh, by the way, you can have Acrobat 5 and Adobe Reader 8, because you definitely need both. Also, yes. here's Wait, something you scary. You on this? Adobe Flash Player 16. Yeah. That's definitely... Uh, that? that's. I don't, I don't want to know. I have a feeling that's from 2015 or 2014. Yeah, it just gives Flash you like... Player 16 is from January of 2015. Oh, God, I had a feeling, yeah. December 2014, so right around the turn of the year. Yeah. There's that screensaver program. Oh, my gosh. There's like so much junk in here. Oh, no. Java 5, Java 6... Norton Live Update, Malwarebytes. Oh, there it is. 1.51. That's what it was installed. There's that Maxter program. .NET 1, 2, 3, 3.5. Oh, no. You can tell that they didn't update Java. Take a guess. Don't look it up, anyone. Uh, when Java 6 Update 7 released. 2014. I'm going to guess 2007. Oh, wait. I just don't say I have Update 22. But no, it's from 2008. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Matt. You can also have Java Update 5. Or... Uh, uh, Java they have, 5. They have update 22. When did update 22 come out? No, Matt, look. Oh, there's no, Java 5. Not much later. Uh, Whatever. Like, Firefox 3.6. Uh, like PowerDVD. Mm -hmm. QuickBooks Pro Edition 2004. Why 
Why does it have cement head live updates that doesn't have Norton? It probably did have Norton, but then they took Norton off, but then they didn't take off the live update. And they forgot to remove all of it. Yeah. Also, you gotta love System Agent. What even is this? Sprint Fast Connect Virtual Assistant? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where is this? <laughs> you remember, that was the... Oh, yeah. Hang on, that was the thing from earlier. Let me go back onto the other, onto the first account. I'll show that, but I digress. Eighty minutes later. Well, now that we've got this out of the way, um, <laughs> this is a glorious image. Change I think that wallpaper for the love of God. We're gonna change this. We're gonna change this Windows install. The one who said it. <laughs> That's why I said change it. No, just because you said that. Um, anyway, I think. Oh. Anyways, as I was going to say before uh, I got fired, um, I'm going to probably go ahead and change the... Jordan, Jordan, before you got fired, you also were threatened with legal action for having legal documents on your PC in plain sight. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll open, we'll open sample resume real quick. All right. So now that I've had my phone being sidetracked once again... I'm definitely going to reload Windows on this, uh, on one of the three hard drives. I honestly need to check the health of them, but uh, I will do that. <laughs> no, they're not even the same capacity. That's not going to work. Um, and I don't even know if the third drive in here works because it's a rubber Seagate, so that's going to be fun. Oh, no. Yes. It's not hooked up, but it's in there. There's a third it IDE probably, drive. It probably what happened was it got replaced because it broke. Probably. Take it out. Because I mean, the Maxter drive that's in here is from August two thousand four. Those so. drives are horrible. Yes, it has two of the funnies in there. So yes, you're welcome. Um, but we're definitely going to need to reload an OS on this. I I don't know if I'm going to do XP or what the scoop is. Probably XP because it's going to run the most MP4. software. No. Uh, <laughs> so um, I'll figure that out later. But um, for right now, I'm just going to go and wrap up this section of the video. I'm not going to end this video here because there's a lot more I want to do with this machine. But for at least this part, because I want to have some fun with this off camera, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And then I'll pick back up here after a little while. So apparently this third hard drive actually does something. So if I go ahead and turn this back on and I only have it as the master drive since it actually does seem to be jumpered for master. And it does pick up in the BIOS. And then, sad. All right, now that I'm not on voice chat, I'm gonna do some cleaning off camera. I'm not gonna do a complete disassembly of this machine because that would take several hours of which I don't have and it's not really worth it at the moment because, well, I'd rather figure out what I'm gonna do with this machine first before I go that deep. But regardless, I mean, the case is in really good shape so I probably will do that. Um, but yeah, I think this cable here is just normally a yellow cable like that. This one for sure is just really badly dirty. It's normally like a, a light gray kind of a cable. These are both 80 wire cables, fortunately, so they're actually nice cables. Um, but yeah, and just the inside of this is just all kinds of muck filled and such. Oh yeah, bad capacitor report. We have one right there, we have one right there, we have one over there by the RAM slots, and then we have one down here by the PCI slots. I don't know if there's any other ones, but that's definitely a sign that this is from the early 2000s, is if it wasn't already a dead giveaway. But yeah, um... I did a little bit of a test, just like wiping around the metal bits of the case and just, mm. so I'm going to finish cleaning this off camera, I think, just to see what I can even do. Uh, it's not going to be thorough at all. It's just going to be me seeing what I can actually do. And then I'm going to repaste the processor off camera as well, because that's going to be a pain in the butt. And I don't want to do that on camera personally. It's probably going to be like brittle 20 year old plastic. Don't want to have to film that. I want to be careful and take my time and do all that stuff. Yeah. Anyways. So let me just uh, give you one more look around on the inside here. Uh, like I said, again, what I'm going to be doing is not very thorough. It's just going to be what I can get access to. And maybe in the future, I'll do a complete disassembly. And I'll clean this out with some Dawn and uh, some water and do it properly. But that'll be for another day if I feel up to it. Oh, yeah. And the curiosities continue with this PC. So I popped the heat sink off and I'm, w I'm letting it soak under some isopropyl alcohol to try to clean it up and reuse it because it's actually got a nice copper slug in it. So that'll help with the thermals as it was shown with the uh, Sempron that was in here. Yes, it was not an Athlon XP. It was a Sempron of all things. And specifically, it was a 2800 plus Thornton core which means that this was a 256K level two cache chip. 
So not a bad chip by any means, but we could certainly do better. And I actually have better. I have a couple of these uh, Athlon XP 2500 Plus chips. These ones have a slightly slower clock speed. I think these are like 1.86 gigahertz instead of the 2 gigahertz that this Sempron was. But the advantage is that it's got double the L2 cache at 512K instead of 256K. So basically, you could think of it as we're taking this from a Celeron to a Pentium 4, although it's not really the same an an analogy, rather, I couldn't think of the word. Uh, but this is basically the equivalent of that kind of a brain transplant. And so we'll get extra cache, which should mean a little bit better uh, snappiness inside of Windows, even without doing anything else, which that should definitely help. So uh, I'm going to put some thermal paste onto this. And I'm going to see if it'll post with this processor. I have another one of these that's got a green PCB like this one. So if this yellow PCB one does not post, I can go grab that one and see if it works. And then, of course, if all else fails, you can stick this processor back in. But I don't see any reason why this wouldn't post, as this chip dates from about late 2003. So this should work just fine in this PC. Okay, so let's see what happens. I have swapped out the CPU from the Sempron 2800 Plus to the Athlon XP 2500 Plus. And I've also swapped out the video card from the um, Rage 128 Pro that was in there. Presumably that's what that is. I mean, look, it's right here. To a ATI Radeon 8500 LE. And whether or not that's actually going to work. I mean, I'm sure that'll work fine as an output. I'm sure that's an upgrade over what was in this machine originally. So... We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button and see if this thing will actually post with that processor. Fingers crossed. <gasps> yes! Aha! It does work. Sweet. So yeah, that'll be a nice upgrade going from 256k of cache to 512k of cache. That'll make this thing a lot happier, I'm sure. And I'm going to laugh if I get to the desktop and Windows is going to make me activate because I swapped out the CPU. I'm going to laugh if that happens because that would be such a Windows XP thing to do. Well, I suppose that this video has gone on for long enough and I should probably wrap it up at some point. <laughs> Not that I didn't enjoy editing it, though. So then... What does the future look like for this gray and tech computer? Well, I can certainly tell you that I don't have any ideas immediately, but that doesn't mean that you all can't come up with something down in the comments section or in my Discord server, linked down below in the description, of course. As you know, of course, as I showed, we did the CPU upgrade late in the video, as well as the video card, and I gave it a light cleaning, nothing amazing, and it could still probably benefit from having a recap job done if I ever get around to it or ever buy the equipment to do it but as it stands right now the machine does work just fine but i don't know really where to take it so i'm gonna leave it up to you all in the audience and see what we can do with this machine should we play around with linux should we clean it up or should we rebuild this machine i don't know i, I honestly don't know where i want to do with it so that's why i figure i'm going to leave it off for now and I hope that even though this video was very long, you liked it. And if you did, well, then you know what button to press down below. And if you are interested in seeing what happens with this machine in the future, don't forget to subscribe because the button's down there. I do upload rather infrequently, so you might miss it if you don't do that. But with that, this video is done. Thank you all for coming to watch, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.